Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. All right, we are now continuing with All of Us Are Dead. We just watched episode one and I definitely am very curious and need to know what the hell is going on with a lot of this. Um, there were a lot of mysteries kind of presented um, to us in the beginning of this series. And yeah, the zombies definitely seem frightening. Um, they're running zombies, which is the worst kind of zombies. You turn extremely fast, so yeah. I'm not sure where this is headed exactly, what the series overall point is going to be, or theme, but I'm very curious to find out what the hell is going on. So, let's get into episode two. Here we go. Shit! No! You fucked him over! You big time fucked him over! Oh man! What? Everything is not fine! No 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 um. Miss Get the fuck out of there Oh what Why is his face that swollen? Get away You're lucky he had that cone on his leg Fucking run Save your life again! Oh, Jesus! Yeah, you gotta go. Go! You gotta go! Spreads way too fast. Like, what the hell are you gonna do? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Oh, uh, yeah. Worse? It's worse. It's worse. Things are worse outside. <laughs> Brother in law? <laughs> Wait, you already married? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. It is. No. But Hanuk, I'm too young. 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 I'm 이때 테스토스테론 분비량이 극도로 높아진다. 그 호르몬을 추출하고 정제했다. 두려움에 떠는 이 세상 모든 쥐들을 위해. What? You what? <웃음> 두려움이 분노로 바뀌면 누구보다 강해질 거라고 생각했다. You just fucking experimented on him? <gasps> Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Oh my 
my god! Really? Facial recognition for a zombie? Or maybe it's zombies. Maybe it's zombies. No, they're zombies. They're like, oh, well, wait a second. Back. Smart. 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 Well, I guess no one else, if anybody else comes, they're not gonna get in. But isn't this a sliding door? Oh, he is bitten. It's not one of those situations where you need to be concerned about obeying your teacher. Do not go there. Do not. Bro, you were bit. You need to get out. Oh no. Oh no. It's too late. She got bit. I'm gonna try and trap them in there. Hurry up! You maybe you want to slow down in your running. Um. Yeah. Oh! Kikis, and it's having some positive effect, but fucking run. Oh, Jesus, yeah, you knew eventually they were gonna start the climbing and shit. Where's Suya? Um, watch out for your feet. Alright, 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 alright! Yeah, let's... I mean, he's definitely still alive, but... But they're gonna think he's dead. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, bro! You really made yourself even worse of an asshole? You just kicked that girl out to die? Oh, good God. Yeah, he's gonna send you next, man. 
This girl's just fucking smoking in the bathroom. She's like, I guess if I'm gonna die. You probably want to get your fingers away from the door, bro. Yeah. I mean, that didn't really get the brain. Oh, God. Archery team is here! Hey, that's a good- an archery team! What? Uh-oh. Oh no. <gasps> oh, she got bit! No! Not that one. Oh, oh. Be careful. I gotta be careful. 
사기가 정신 좀 차려 여기 친구 안 죽은 사람이 어디냐 죽는 사람이 한둘도 아닌데 왜 너만 내가 좋아하는 사람이 아무도 없어 What? That's so mean 널 좋아하는 사람들이 있잖아 아빠도 있고 그 사람들 때문에라도 살 You gotta go, bro! I know you're afraid that it's not gonna hold both of you, but you got to go now. Go now! Fucking go! He died? What? He died? No! No, 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 no way! No! What the f- That can't really have just happened, right? That can't really have just happened, right? Like, something is, like, going to happen where he's not dead. Yes? Yes, like, he can't already be dead. Like, if he's already dead, I'm gonna be upset. If he's dead, like, if they have him die so that it's, like, completely clearing the way for the Suyok Anjo romance to happen, I'm gonna be upset. I'm not gonna lie. That will upset me. Because he was so good. He was like, he was doing everything, standing up for her. I know he was stupid, like, early on when he was trying to hide the, how much he liked her. But he saved her so many times. And she... Oh. And that was so rough at the end when she says, there's no one left that I like. And, I mean, I know that's not true. Like, she obviously cares about him and thinks of him as someone that's very close to her. Like, she didn't mean it like that, but even so, like, if he was to die there and that was, like, the last thing, no. There's no way, though. There's no way, because, like, they showed his mom and family restaurant and everything. No, there's no way. He's definitely going to be alive. I refuse to believe that he died. I'm still waiting for a lot of answers. We still don't have much in the way of answers. Um... What we've been told, what we have have seen is basically, okay, the, okay, what was his, the teacher, the science teacher, where is, where, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, okay, yeah, so basically, somehow, from watching rats and cats, he got this idea that under certain extreme forms of fear and stress that some rats would manifest enough hormones to like switch it to in intense fight mode not in fight or flight mode it become or freeze fight flight or freeze it becomes fight and somehow the idea is that he was able to harness that and utilize it to make some sort of serum that he was trying to use to help his son. The idea being to help people who are afraid and get bullied and run over and treated like shit to turn their fear into rage so that they, they can fight back. And obviously it went way past that um but what i want to know what i am actually curious about here is so did he just then experiment on his son like that when nothing had happened to him or was it that his son actually succeeded in killing himself when he tried to kill himself 
And then he was like trying to bring him back to life with this concoction in some way. And that's how the whole zombification happened. Or like he was on the verge of death or whatever. Like I still, there still needs to be some answers. Because like, if it's just that he thought his son was getting bullied all the time and was too weak and afraid so he injected him with this experimental drug treatment he came up with and it started all this zombie thing then that guy's a fucking psycho <laughs> so i mean we already know that he has questionable decision making but you know everything that happened with him tying up the girl and everything and taking his son's body and out all of that you know you could theoretically chalk it up to <laughs> Like, post-traumatic stress from what happened with his son and apparently wife, since she got bit too. But not if he just experimented on him for no legitimate reason. If his son was already, like, dead or on the verge of death and that was part of it, then I guess so. But I, I need to know more about this situation. Like, they basically gave us that background while he's with the police, but then just disappeared and that was all we saw of that in the episode, so... I'm sure that also will have some sort of significance in terms of if there's some way to, to deal with this. Um, the fact that he had his son and his wife chained up in there, that also makes me kind of wonder if his, his thought process is that maybe it can be reversed in some way. And he's like holding them there still, chained up. Or at least that's his hope, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's a lot. We've still got to find out regarding this, basically. Oh, yeah. So, I they left us at quite the cliffhanger. So, I definitely want to keep going. I don't know if I have time to watch another episode right now, but I'm going to try. So, I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.